started off with just us like pitching around ideas and really just like both of us having this want to create sort of environments that really like inspire people and create these sort of magical phenomena. We don't want to show our identity because we don't want to destroy the magic that we're trying to create. We wanted to have masks that allowed us to play with the audience essentially. And we have these cameras in our masks that allow us to do things like steal people's faces and place our faces on other people's faces in real time. Within the history of art, we've seen every new art movement come about as a result of the advancement of technology. For us, it's more about the performance of the painting and about watching it happen. It's not about leaving a mark somewhere so that I wake up the next day and I'm like, oh my god, how did this happen? We, we consider it more to be a street art performance than graffiti. We just took this to the street to test it. What's gonna happen when we run it and there's this light? What's gonna happen? And just having these, these big spaces in this urban environment that you can play with. Um, you know, it looks a lot better when it's on a big wall than in your bedroom. We're just having a good time and we're yeah. trying to do what we love to do. And Sweatshop is really initially about trying to make people have fun, trying to make people happy. You know, I could intellectualize and conceptualize this whole thing, but realistically, this is what we like to do, and we're just doing it, and people like it too, and it's, that's, that's, that's how it is. That's pretty yeah. much how simple.